Meet Samantha. Last Monday, her alarm rang too early. Before she had the courage to get out of bed, she checked her Instagram. She'd missed so many posts as she was sleeping. After a couple of minutes, or maybe hours, she realized she was running late for uni. She dressed up as quickly as she could and grabbed all she thought she might need for the day. She plugged her earphones to her phone and walked to her first class alongside Beyonce. She had to sit in class for the longest lecture ever, so she decided to make plans with a friend for later. But suddenly, she had only 30% battery. It was only 11 a.m., the lecture was never going to end, and she still had two more classes to go. By the time she would be able to plug her phone, she would probably be dead. Wait, did she even bring her charger? Now, meet Rebecca. She started her day early as usual. That is the only way to get things done. Coffee? Check. Computer? Check. Kids' lunches? Check. Change of clothes for meeting later? Check. Phone? Chargers? Wires? Shoes? Blue gun? Just in case. Check. She left the children at school and went to a coffee shop nearby to do some admin work before a meeting. After a dozen emails, a couple of phone calls, and a little bit of writing for her blog post later, she left for a meeting with a consultancy client in a bit of a hurry. After that was over, she grabbed her phone to check the time. And there she saw it. Batteries don't last at all these days. She thought about all the things she had to do still. Customer, kids, groceries. It will be the evening until she'd get to a place where she could charge it. She still needed to call her next client and gosh, why if there's an emergency with the kids at school? Little Ryan did set that other kid on fire last time. Would this thing last until then? This is Kenneth. He's been away from home for over a week. He left from the UK to France and has since been in Spain. Now, he just arrived in Germany for yet another conference event where he was a guest speaker. He left the airport and hurried with his suitcase to the event. There was no time to make a stop at the hotel this time. But first he had to check the location to see what's the easiest way to get there. Great! The phone was about to die. He forgot to put it on airplane mode. Now where did he leave the chargers he always carries with him? Is there time to unpack search for them and wait until the phone relieves? Now what do these three very different people have in common? Well, they need a little bit of battery and they need it now. I've been listening and speaking to many of people just like you and these are some of their stories. If only they had a little push of energy so that Samantha survives her class, Rebecca gets to call her kids and her next client, and Kenneth gets to find the place for his next location, they would have been saved from an emergency. The whole thing can just happen if people want to be connected all the time. Is it really an issue? Well, nowadays, an increasing number of power devices, the growth of digital content, the shift from 3G to 4G network has consumed battery a lot and at a higher rate. Additionally, the battery being used for a long time suffered a problem of electricity leak, which means <coughs> people usually have the problem of shorter and shorter uh, battery lives. So um, we assume that people need the ex external batteries, and we conduct a research to support that. The results of our surveys show that more than 75% of the participants face situation where they run out of batteries and cannot charge them immediately. Often, 10% face the problem every day. These scenarios often happen while on studying, working, or traveling activities. This situation is quite usual and happens in our daily lives. So, so far, how do people do to solve that? According to our survey, more than half of the participants will borrow a charger or use other external batteries. 
There are two types of external batteries, portable power banks, which will usually have some sort of cables, and wireless power banks. However, most of the participants complain about them. 18% think they are heavy, 21% think the size is big, 67% think the cable is not convenient, and 5% think it takes too long to charge it. However, with all of this considered, power banks have a market share worth of 14.5 billion in year 2015, and it is expected to grow to reach 17.8 billion by 2020. Crazy! With a growth rate of about 23%, the market behind external batteries is large and has quite a big potential to grow. So, this is more common than what you have expected, right? When we run out of the battery in an emergency case, of course, the obvious and the first thing we need to do would be to charge it no matter what, instead of to post it on Twitter. But what options are available out there? Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe that's the answer if we are at home and the power outlet is within reach. So clearly for the emergency case, this is not the best answer. The next option could be a power bank. I would admit that it could help a lot in an emergency situation. But people say it is too heavy, big, and not convenient. You want more options? Okay, I will give you one revolutionary example but beforehand let me ask a question. What is the one thing missing in most of our visions of utopic futures? Wires. Yes, we will not have to deal with those horrible things in the future because all of our technologies will be handled wirelessly. And yeah, the future is near. Well, kind of, because there are several wireless phone chargers in the market, but they are not actually wireless. They still need cables to connect to a power socket, and another drawback from this solution is that some of them are compatible with just very few types of devices. It is not created for all of us. So, based on all of the facts that I mentioned before, we decided to join the race to provide another solution for this problem. We design our product to precisely solve the problem. We thought of making something that is really portable in terms of dimension and easiness to use, not like all of those power banks. We really want to make your futuristic dreams come true. We want to fight to free all of us from wires. We are creating a wireless way of charging not only for your phone, but for all of your devices. Our product will make us embrace the future of charging technology. Isn't that right, Dad? Yes. Show us how we live the dream. I will. Redundant energy transfer technology is the answer to our powers. In a standard transformer, there are two coins of wheels. They can transfer their power by electromagnetic introduction just by being close to each other. But indeed, we can make them work for further distance. After lots of prototyping, we have found that we can make stronger coils of wire by making them redundant on the same frequency. We are so proud of this, which is why we patented our idea. This technology is adaptable to any device, portable. It is just a plant, a super power, awesome and rescue. Your device could share power between them in short period of time, providing approximately a 15% battery increase in 10 seconds from one connect. We would never forget about your safeness, so it is non-radiant power transference because it only uses magnetic field. That is basically the same of us. It only transfers power to things with a same frequency, which is virtually impossible in nature. But enough with the techy stuff, Demi, please tell us how all these people watching will share the power. Well, stickers. You can get them as many as you like and stick to all your devices. You can give them to your friends or tell them about us. And 
you can share the power when you need it. Feeling anxious that the stickers might make your power shrink. Worry about others getting power from you and bleeding you white. YouGov, a UK-based research organization, found that nearly 53% of mobile phone users in Britain tend to be anxious when they lose their mobile phone, run out of battery or credit, or have no network coverage. The study found that about 58% of men and 47% of women suffer from the phobia. And an additional 9% feel stressed when their mobile phones are off. We would never trigger your normal phobia. You can set the limitation of the power you want to share. Your power stickers work in cooperation of an app that allows you to activate sharing power simply by turning it on, locating the person you want to transfer the electricity to, and setting maximum range of power. Your device won't be sharing power all the time. It will help you find people who can share power with you in the proximity. And it can build a community of power sharers. Quite cool, isn't it? Data shows that 71% people are embarrassed to ask others for help, unless you know the person very well. Now, you will ask people who are willing to share the supercharger community. Sending SOS to the person nearby when your battery is running out. Admission from persons who are willing to help you. As we mentioned, there is a huge opportunity for this technology to grow. Based on markets and markets report, wireless charging market is expected to grow at 60% between 2014 and 2020, and forecast to reach 13.7 billion US dollar by 2020. It is really big market, isn't it? We want our dream not just come through, but we want a longer sustainability for this product. Our long-term big plan is to get partnerships with some other companies. We will find this technology working on vending machines, some public places like train lines and bus stations, or even the slip of your coffee cups. And we believe, someday, this technology could come within your devices. Wireless battery everywhere you go. Help us share the power.